Richard Allen Smith is a retired Army sergeant and veteran of the war in Afghanistan. He was also a member of the digital communications staff at the Department of Veterans Affairs, so he has some inside knowledge. He joins us from Washington this morning. Sir, thanks for being with us. I want to thanks start with um, the American Legion. They have asked for Secretary Shinseki to step down, saying, quote, his patriotism and sacrifice for this nation are above reproach. However, his record as head of the Department of Veterans Affairs tells a different story. It's a story of poor oversight and failed leadership. Mr. Smith, do you agree with that? I don't at all. I think if you look at General Shinseki's leadership and stewardship of the department, it's, you know, there's been a lot of unmitigated success in the department. When you look at the post 9-11 GI Bill, uh, veterans homelessness, the claims backlog has been reduced by half in just the last year. Um, so what I think is important is to look at what Shinseki's done overall. And, and even on health care, you know, Nobody has questioned, even the American Legion, I spoke with an American Legion rep on this network uh, not long ago who acknowledged that um, the quality of care from VA is, is above reproach. Um, mm. The problem is the access to the care in some of these locations. I don't think that anyone is arguing with his accomplishments at the administration, yet these current allegations that hospital clerks and managers might be gaming records to hide actual wait times, that has been around since 2010. In fact, an investigation then found that these problems were deeply ingrained. So why didn't General Shinseki address them sooner? I think, I mean, from my time in, in VA, I would tell you that uh, these sort of things have been addressed. Um, the problem is they were so bad before General Shinseki took over um, that, you know, they're still lingering. So if you go back to 2007, 2008, before General Shinseki was on board, I'm sure you'd find that these wait time issues were a lot worse. But and, he has had five years. You know, he's had five years at the helm of the VA. And I know it's a military credo that responsibility rests with, you know, command, when in charge, take charge. Five years to address this. It is, it's five years, and it's the largest civilian agency in the federal government. And, the, the you know, this is an agency that's been mismanaged for decades, and that's not something... Um, that you can fix in five years. It is something you can make significantly better in five years, and I think better than anyone thought could happen five years ago uh, on Secretary Shinseki's watch. So do you and believe... these problems are, are horrible. I mean, I'm not trying to excuse them. Anybody sure. who's responsible for gaming the system, particularly the directors at the hospitals where this may have happened, if, if the IG investigation comes back that this is what happened, I mean, those people need to be held accountable and they need to be um, out, of, out of this line of employment as soon as possible. But do you believe that General Shinseki is the man to bring um, the, the VA into the 21st century? It seems that there is no veteran or person in the military I speak to that doesn't agree with you that these problems of bureaucracy have been around for a long time. Is General Shinseki the man to address it? Absolutely. On the, on the claim side, uh, uh, VA had a paper claims process for, for decades. Um, and it wasn't until when I was there, they always talked about moving us into the 21st century. Mm. And I was like, come on, guys, we're 10 years into the 21st right, century. That's right. not something to brag about. But it's, it's something that wouldn't have happened if Eric Shinseki hadn't been leading VA. And he's, he's um, taken it on. There's been internal pressure um, from folks who were used to the old way of doing business that, that didn't want things to move in that way. Um, but, you know, General Shinseki's, you know, kept the, his, his foot on the gas and made sure those things get pushed through. And I don't think there's a better person uh, to lead reforming the health side as well. And you are not the only veteran uh, that has told me that this morning. Richard Allen Smith, retired Army Sergeant and veteran of the war in Afghanistan. Thank you for your service, sir. And thanks for being with us on Al Jazeera this morning. Appreciate it.